on to an Intercontinental Championship rematch. Rob Hall, in a fine way, at the Diamondversary, lost. And the new champion is none other than Harlem Rockarola Halliday. He's been waiting a long time to get that gold. Any gold. But this gold especially because he initiated the idea of ins installing it in the show. And he's looking mighty proud with it. The question is, will he be able to hold on to it? Getting something is half the battle. Oh my goodness. It's almost more than half the battle to keep it. And here comes the former Intercontinental Champion. Out to get his belt back. He did an awesome job of getting the gold, keeping the gold, and he goes ever gotten. He earned leaping Lord Rob Allsworth. He is one of the more magnificent stars we have here at the FBXW. He has a tongue of silver. He has a way with words. And he has the spirit of FBXW flowing through his face. have lost the belt, but I do plan on getting it back despite my fatigue, my past car accident injury from a hit and run, and I will bring prestige back into the leaping board Rob Hallsworth family, so watch me. As I teach this young scallion a lesson. Well, sounds to me like he means business, but he did have that nagging injury from that hit and run accident that happened more than a month ago. You would have seen that on the other show of FBXW, the dark matches. He got hit by a car somehow. Still an investigation on who that was. Boom! Oh, Rob in a bit of a pin. One, two... Oh, he got out. I mean, it could have been Harlem. Oh, Major DGT on Rob by Harlem. Harlem did want the belt. He did not get it. And all of a sudden, here it is a few weeks after the accident, and he has the belt. Harlem has much experience. Oh, and he hit that turnbuckle hard. But Harlem is just starting to learn how one succeeds in the FBXW. It's not all cut and dry. You can have the most beans in the jar, but it doesn't mean you win. Oh, and he was knocked right off the turnbuckle to the outside by leaping Lord Robs Hallsworth. Oh, but Harlem chokes Rob right on that rope, hangs him up to dry. And, oh, Tomic drop by Harlem. And Harlem misses Rob, but he comes off, off the rocks, ropes and shoulder uh, flying forearms him. Stomps on his leg. Now he's giving him his self choke. Making him choke himself. It's an embarrassing move. Harlan has got things pretty under control. I think Rob's injuries are nagging at him. Oh, and Harlan missed. So did Rob. A lot of missing going on. Oh, and Rob went flying outside of the ring. They're outside the ring, fighting it out. Harlem throwing him back in the ring. Oh, close line to the turnbuckle and bulldog out. Harlem going to the top of the turnbuckle again. 
Rob not getting up. And boom! Rob blocked it with his knees. Harlem. Oh, his belt. is soon going to be Rob's belt. And Rob is twisting him inside out. Kicking him to the chest. Throwing him against the ropes. Oh, and a super DDT on Rob again by Harlem. This is back and forth. Rob wants it back desperately. Harlem wants to keep it desperately. What's going to happen? Not really anyone to interfere in this match, so... It's going to be a question of who's better. Oh! Uh-oh! Finisher coming up! And... Double hand choke! Slam! Before he can pull at him, Rob kicks him away. Rob comes back, but he's, oh, he's, he's keeping it up. Oh, and he drags him down. Uh oh, Harlem taking away the turnbuckle padding. And oh, 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 no! Rob just got splattered against that naked turnbuckle, and uh oh, from the top turnbuckle, splart. Elbow to the chest. One, two. Oh, Rob is not going away. Rob refuses. He is stubborn. Uh-oh. Super spring pin. One, two, three. Oh, Rob lost his rematch. And Harlem retains the Intercontinental Belt. Harlem's winning streak continues. He is victorious. And he will go on to defend his belt at a later date. Who will it be?